Hello and welcome to this Blender Low Poly tutorial. This is actually part of a longer series, so if you haven't watched the previous episodes, you may want to have a look at those first. Let's continue where we left off. Let's do a walk animation. Plus walk. Automatic keyframing. F, remember, remember, remember F. Delete these keyframes. Okay, now we're going to do walk cycle. And then what I'd like to do then is I like to do uh, walk cycle. And then I look at some reference of a, a walk that I find to be suitable. And uh, I like to ha try to find expressive walks if possible. N not overly expressive, but uh, let's try. This one looks a bit funny. Can try that. So we've got keyframing enabled. We've got this whole thing like that. Let us do right leg forward and foot up. Pelvis and a bit down maybe. with pride this guy. Okay, and let's move forward a few keyframes, maybe four. Then his body's going to be going down a bit, so we lower the pelvis. And then the right leg is coming back a bit. Like that. And the left leg is getting lifted. Passing a bit. The spine goes forward a bit as he presses, puts his weight down, but he keeps looking up. Yeah, maybe back a little bit more with the foot. Okay, next one is... Oh yeah, we should also bring the arm back. So this arm comes back. But axe stays up. Now we'll go to frame 8, and then we need to bring him higher up, but not all the way to the top. So this is how you can do it. When you do your keyframing, uh, just try to find a, a walk cycle uh, reference sheet and copy the keyframes and play around with the timings. So that leg goes straight back. This one starts to come up. the foot oh right. it's still behind him and this arm oh that swings forward a bit let's see how that works I'm not so sure about that oh we'll try it and then now we'll go really tall with him the highest pose We angle the foot down, move it back. 
and we really lift this leg up now. And the spine arches back. becomes a bit like a patrol cycle by the looks of it. And then actually we have forgotten about the other arm. So at this frame the far arm should be up. Like that. And then a little bit down on this one. And then back on this one. And then the collarbone. Back. We should actually bring this collarbone forward then. We can angle this arm out a bit. Let's scrub this. See? Yeah. Maybe he should bob his head a little bit still then. So let him really stretch out. Yeah. And I think that's all the poses because now uh, this one is a flip of this one. So this is uh, the easy part now. Just do AA, just select everything, Control C. And the important thing is that we need to con press Control Shift V to flip it inverse. Okay, and then here we need to do Control C, or actually I'll just move A A to select deselect everything. Like these bones here. Select the ones here. I hold the shift key and I just pick the ones that have a keyframe in them. For this one, I don't want to copy everything. Control C, go to frame 20. I keep four, four frames apart. Control Shift V. So that's a mirror of that pose. Do the same here, but we also need the collarbone with us and the, the two collarbones and the pelvis is in, yeah. Control C, move it to 24, Control Shift V. And then this one we need to select as well. For this one we need this bone, this, 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 this. Foot controls. We'll do Control C, scrub forward to frame 28, Control Shift V, and then here's a copy of this pose all together. So we're all bones, frame 32, Control V. And I see that we probably need to fix a little bit for the sword. Uh, oh, I press Control V just here. Uh, it's the same frame as this one, should be identical. This one should be a flipped one. So, and we set the length here to 30. One, which is uh, from this frame zero to 31, which is this one. And instead of playing this one twice, it'll play the animation to 31 and then it'll follow back. And then if we press play now. Okay, he's having some peculiar stuff going on with his arms that we need to fix. He like double bubbles. Okay, let's fix that. We can do that by doing C. So first up like that. I don't want to bring the axe all the way up to the Maybe 
we definitely don't want to have it all the way to there. So let's copy these bones. Control C, Control V. Wow, I missed the keyframe here. So the arms here. Oh yeah, it's because it flipped them, isn't it? That's why. Let's redo the arms all together, actually. Let's take away the collarbones. Let's get rid of these as well. Let's just start with a simple swing motion instead. So when that leg's forward, we want this one to be forward. Want that one to be back. Flipped pose. Okay, that didn't work. Control C, Control C, Control Shift V. What am I missing here? Control, oh, there, Control C. Control Shift V. Control V. I think that's better to do. Just more basic arms, but we can't have the axe hitting his head. Now we can have it so he swings back a bit more. Go out. So let's copy these bones, the collar bones, and the arms from this frame. Paste mirror here, we're gonna mess up the arm a little bit, but that's okay. And then paste the normal here again, and then we'll fix the axe again here. Okay, let's have a look at that. Thanks a lot for watching, I hope you liked this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to my channel for future videos that I make.